So today, I'm going to show you how to make a soil moisture sensor in an easy way. This IoT-based device runs on an app called Blink. The purpose of the sensor is to notify you if your plant slash soil needs to be watered via the app. Let's get started. These are the items required to make this project. Firstly, you'll need a Node MCU board. After that, you'll be needing some jumper wires. And then you'll also be needing a breadboard. And most importantly, you'll be needing the soil moisture sensor. All of the links to buy these products will be in the description below. Okay, so now let's start building it. Firstly, you'll need to open your breadboard. And this is my Node MCU board. Open the soil moisture sensor and we can start by connecting this. Put that away. So here you can see that it's positive and negative. So let's put the black wire as positive and white wire as negative. So plug this in and plug this in there. And also plug the black wire in the positive of this here. And here. Since we're done, we can keep this aside. We're going to be needing three different colored jumper wires and three only. So for this, I have an orange, a yellow, and a red. You can also use any other color, but make sure that they're different. Both ends have to be male. Okay, so now let's start by attaching the Node MCU board to the breadboard. So you can move all of this aside for now. And you can get your breadboard. Keep the red board like this and make sure that the micro USB port on the Node MCU board faces this side, which is facing this bounce. So uh, we have to keep the first pin five points away and one point up. So it should be one, two, three, four, and five, and one point up. So on the other side also, there's one point. So now you have just have to press it in. Okay. So now once you push it in, leave this aside. Now we have to connect the soil moisture sensor. So these four pins here, as you can see, this is VCC, ground, DO, and AO. So for this, there's there will be numbers on this board if you can see so this is 40 here this pin is 40 so have to start around 41 and when we do that it should also be one pin up so it should be right here and we should also be pushing this in we can keep this aside like this now we just have to turn it over and work on the back part now this is when we connect the jumper wires. Okay, so the jumper wire colors are gonna be yellow for the digital output, which is DO here, keep that aside. And also for the ground, we're gonna be needing this red or black wire. And for the VCC, which is the positive, we're gonna be needing a red or orange. So we can connect them now to the back. As you can see here, the DO, which is yellow. So we have to put this pin right behind it. 
Now, if you want it to be easier, you can just take out this moisture sensor, but remember where you kept it. Take this out and put in this pin. So then just align it and you can check what the next color is, which is black or in this case, red. Put red right next to it. Like this. And then after that, line it again. And it is VCC, which is red or orange. So I kept this here. That's it. Now we can keep these wires there. And we can put the breadboard back into this position. Like this. Okay. Now we have to connect these three wires to the Wi Fi board. Yellow wire, which is DO. So, DO, we can just keep the DO wire aside for now. So, you can go on with the red one or black one, which is the ground. So, we have to put these two wires on the bottom panel while that wire goes on the top panel. So, if you can see closely, they're all marked here. So, we have to keep this red wire, which is G and D, in the G and D port. Right there. So, put this in. While the orange one, which is uh, VCC, you have to put this in 3V3. Right next to it. Right here. So plug that in and then for the yellow wire, which is the DO, you have to put it in D4, if you can see closely there. Plug this in and we can just keep this down for now. Now is the time to go to the Blink app, which I'll be sharing a screen recorded video now. Now we have to go to new project. We have to name our project here. I'm going to be naming mine as Water Plants. You can change this later on. Now we have to select our device, which is the board. Note MCU right there. Click OK. Now click Create. Authentication token was sent. Now we have to click add here. My energy balance is 2000. So I need a notification. I add this and I drag mine all the way over to the center. Sorry about that. Just right here. And then I click here. So now this part is over. Now, since we successfully created the project in Blink, we can get started to test the breadboard. I'm using a rechargeable battery and a micro USB cable because this port is a micro USB. You can also be using a wall charger and other stuff. Do not overload the current, as this can only be supported with 5 volts. Plug the micro USB cable in, and plug it in here. And then you have to turn it on. Well, I'll just disconnect it and I'll show you again. Now it's disconnected. Once you connect it back again, there should be a blue light here which will blink three times and there will be a continuous light which will be on until the battery gets over so you can see light will also be coming there yes you can see that so now all we have to do is to upload the program code to this board what you'll need for this is a windows 10 computer with Arnido IDE installed. Install that 
if you haven't and let's get to the coding part the coding the code which will be in the description below also keep in mind that you have to have the usb connected and take the usb a part and connect it to the computer as the wi-fi is not ready yet for this board once wi-fi is ready we can use the wi-fi to send notifications but now we have to do it wired to upload the program code let's go for the coding part i will include a link on how to test the board and the program code for this project will be in the description below also other details will be below if you are planning to build this project please let me know if you have any questions in the comments section and i will try to answer it so here's the program code right here you want to put a link and you click send that will send an authentication code via email so you have to take out these eight letters copy the code and paste it here after that you have to take your home network's name and password and paste it in these layers while removing the respective names after that you're all set